guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. We are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, a series that I have seen up to a certain point, but we're catching these guys up so that we all can watch together. Yes. Eventually. Uh, and, uh, a series that just recently ended, but I'm told too, so... Uh, we congratulate uh, the cast for making it so long and, and being able to finish the show, but we'll get there eventually. It's probably going to be a bit, though. Uh, last time on... At least as long as what we've done so far. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, last time on, we did have Mr. Santiago. Uh, uh, Bell Organa was here. Yes, he was. The Bellinis were great. No, wait, that was the time that before. Was the time before. Uh, of Jake. Yep. Marshmallows. Yep. Binders. Dog shows. That bitch. Slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're going to do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. The front button. I'm doing oh. the full bullpen. This sucks. What the hell? <laughs> what the guy? Yeah. Uh-oh. Holt? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. The four bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's gonna be mad. Or what's that? <laughs> Twelve books chronicling the war between sky and sand, clouds and rocks, the subsidians. Oh, so it's like a Game of Thrones type thing. No, Game of Thrones is a sky. Type thing. Get it out of your ass. <laughs> Come on, boy. I spent hours reading those books. Whoa, little Terry did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> little Terry. Little Terry got emotionally healthy. Yeah, and jacked. You know what? He did get jacked. Way to go, little Terry. Big back's coming through. <laughs> Terry's gonna meet his hero. Oh no. Never meet your heroes. Oh uh, yeah. Freak out. Marie Callender. <laughs> oh, uh, frozen Foods. Yeah. Candy. It's the food person. Food. There's a green one in Aruba. Aruba? <laughs> Boils don't do beaches. We're not swimmers. We're burrowers. <laughs> <laughs> We've already rented the tent. Tent singular? Charles, tent singular? <laughs> there are three doors behind one of which is a car you're telling it wrong there are three doors behind one of which is a car you pick a door the host who knows where the car is opens a different door showing you there's nothing behind it now the host asks if you'd like to choose the other unopened door should you do it no yes it's, it's simple, simple math. math it doesn't make any sense to switch the prize is behind one of two doors it's a 50 50 chance either way it's two-thirds if you switch the probability locks in when you make the choice we've been over this eight times seven times now you can't even do simple addition. Kevin's <laughs> right. You're fine. <laughs> hey, Sarge. Great news. The guys at the 9-5 gave us the DC Parlob case. Tell him how meaningful the note he wrote you was. People love knowing that they changed someone's life. I mean, why do you think I'm doing this for you? This isn't about me. No. <laughs> that was 30 years ago. He won't remember, and I'll feel silly. Well, we're about to find out. Parlov just walked in. Just breathe. He doesn't want to sweat. <laughs> Sarge? Hi. Wow. Terry, you want to come out here and help me take Mr. Parlov's statement? <clears throat> he usually stands much taller than that. Anyway. Tell us about these death threats you've been getting. Any idea who might be sending them? Well, I'm pretty sure it had to be a fan. I've had a little bit of a backlash from some of my younger male readers. Quandor is not a sexual being. For she is the ender of bloodlines. All mortals tremble before her wrath. A Skyfire fan. Oh, I'm more than a fan. Whoever wrote this has got nothing on me. Yeah, he's not a <laughs> <laughs> You probably don't remember, but 30 years ago, I wrote you a letter telling you how lonely and sad I was. And you sent me a book with the inscription, we all write our own stories. And it changed my life. Don't say I did it to everyone. I do remember you. You do? I do indeed. And I'm delighted you made something of yourself. As the Cloud Rock says, you found yourself in your struggle. Wow. The truth is what you came for. And you found it within your strife. Be brave <laughs> for Togan. Togan the last. Tolgan the first. Tolgan. Is it over? Yes. 
This is the best day of my life. You have three kids, Terry. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I understand Sam, that. Chucky, Cousin Sam. Butch, butch, butch. Oh, man. Yeah, I just wanted to get to know Sam better and talk about the upcoming vacation. I got him his favorite egg salad on white, bowl of cottage cheese, <laughs> oh, boiled egg on the side. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Yes. Turns out. Sam here also thinks we should go to Aruba. I know it sounds crazy, but the Caribbean might be more fun than Iowa. <laughs> In what universe? <laughs> but I have a whole day of Boyle Cousins scheduled, starting with Bobby Boyle at 3 o'clock. Bobby Boyle. Afternoon eggs. You think you can pick a <laughs> lot of eggs. Find one? Yeah. Well, you can. Boyles are very weak as individuals. <laughs> Sam, stay. Sam, come. come Sam, on. stay. Come on, Sam. Sam, stay. Come on, stay. Poor Sam. Stay. <laughs> I wonder what he chose. I, can't, I will never understand this world. You once took a train to Toronto to get a Canadian VHS copy of Die Hard. There was a rumor it was better sound quality. Get a grip, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> we get them to sign a petition to make Quando the Dragon a man. Ooh, smorf. But are we going to fit in there dressed like this? No. No, we're not. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Look at him! <laughs> Sign our petition to make Quandor the Dragon a male. There are already enough girl characters. We don't need a third. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do I have to teach you high school statistics? Do I have to teach you eighth grade statistics? Do I have to teach you seventh grade oh statistics? Do I have to teach you? <laughs> no. I need to leave from the snipe voicemail about. Kindergarten student. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just need a bone. What? Gross, Rosa. Those are our dads. I mean, that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never Captain mind. Dad. I'm teaching father the math. Whatever, Rosa. <laughs> Man, that was just a spiral. It's just that women aren't strong enough to be dragons. Now, women are strong enough to be dragons. What? How do you get more dragons? You really want Parlov to hear you? You're gonna have to send a message of blood. Well, I think we've got a suspect. Seems suspicious. Oh, that's very nice. Oh! Parlov wrote the death threats. He sent them to himself. Terry mm. did not see that coming. Wait, Publicity, what? maybe? Yeah, but is it out in, in... And that is a perfect match. Mm. This is crazy. Why would Parlov send himself a death threat? For publicity? He was on TV. His book is on the bestseller list for the first time in years. He's already famous, rich. He's got more babes than he can handle. Come on. Maybe he wants a reason to quit. He's lying to prove a point. He pulls, Jake. He pulls. He pulls. <laughs> Look, I know how it is. It can be disappointing to meet your hero. Just like me and Patrick Ewing. You said that went great. I lied. Excuse me, Mr. Ewing. My name is Jake Rosa. No, no. What? You're a bigger player. You really think Patrick Ewing has nothing to do with this? Does what? it? Why did I share that story? There is a, we are going to go to his hotel. We're going to talk to him, and he'll have an explanation. Whatever you need. Screw you, Peralta! <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were going to disagree. Yeah, thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me. <laughs> it's behind one of these three doors. Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. Not only is Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already <laughs> ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Just say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! <laughs> what in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. <laughs> Speak to me like that. 40 minutes later. <laughs> what is happening? Why did you do that? Dude was cut up. Now he knows. Problem solved. <laughs> <Boom>! <laughs> There's two different times, 20 minutes apart. I changed his diapers, and I'm about to change yours. Uh, Hello, uh, cousins. That's a Bobby, lot of beige. Ben, One long banana boat with the 15 of us on it holding each other by the waist, having the time of our damn lives. <laughs> Do we really want to go where Pirates of the Caribbean took place? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Side sevens for everybody. You guys both did 
so good. I think we'll sleep on it and we'll vote in the morning. Council adjourned. I love you. I love you. I don't do that in my family unions or nothing. It's kind of a interesting thing. Good lord. I don't know what I'm looking at. I told you, man. He pulls. He pulls. He pulls. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth, I didn't actually write this instruction. Ah, so. there we go. What? Come on, you guys. Go Secretary. On. Think I have time for a manager? I get from every sad little fat kid that writes me. His name is Edmund Graham. The guy hates me. I have a little bit of a uh, research to attend to myself. If you understand what I'm talking about. Enjoy having sex with three gorgeous women in cosplay. Well, that went terribly. I'm so sorry. Do you, oh you God, he's gonna rip it. it. <laughs> yep, yep, that works too. <laughs> That's why it was so thick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he won't open the door and he'll have to kick it down. That always cheers you up. I don't feel like kicking down the door. What about running really fast through a wall, leaving a perfect outline of your body? Cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the are going to a robot. Ow. Figured. That. I think the sun's going to be really good for everyone's psoriasis. We're all so excited. <laughs> you even bought Cousin Sherman a scrunchie for his ponytail. Yeah, so I could win. And you did win. A plot in the family cemetery. <laughs> all of us together lying in a grave for eternity. Grave singular? <laughs> Charles, grave singular? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they did the ten singular thing. That's so good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see what happens when your dad's had sex. Okay, we're good. Let's see what happens when your dad's had sex. <laughs> Freeze! What? Damn! Oh! The mic of Kyle! Bring it in, big fella. <laughs> 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 I love it. Oh my gosh. I love that. I didn't get it into This episode was pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. I feel like most elements of it actually like lots of times I feel like there's uh I, I like this one, but I didn't like this third story that was going on. And I thought it was gonna be the Gina Boyle one. It's one of my favorite Gina stories. But I liked it because one, it was getting to know the Boyles. Yeah. Like I love like I got you your favorite like egg salad on white with the well, side the hard of a hardwood egg, egg and cottage side. cheese and it's like all right and they're all wearing beige and all these things and like I liked all that in the in the way that the whole we already went into the tent it's like singular tent singular and I love how it comes back around to grave singular grave singular <laughs> so like I like I like the way that that mirrored each other yeah. but uh, yeah they did also did the same thing with the pants thing. Yep. Where, like, Jake's talking about his favorite hero. It happened again, Terry. And he's like, how many people have you pantsed? And, like, it's gone oh, through. And then he's like, Terry's man. this hero, and it's going yeah. through, and you're not ready for it. And yeah. bring it in, and it just happens. It's good tight writing. <laughs> so it's, it's just, it just loops around really well. And and we're still on the night shift, too. There's a sure. Keeping that yeah. going. Sure. While those are all also, like, <clears throat> those are, like, just within the episode itself of things they do. They still have time with things where it's like Santiago's excited about this math problem. Yeah. And the... Uh, Terry's meeting his hero. Sure, Terry's meeting his hero. But there's also like the VHS for Die Hard from Canada. You know, like those are things where I'm like, I know Jake yeah. is into Die Hard. I feel like they've said that before thing. at some point. Like I feel like that's a joke that's come back. I don't that, think so. That he went to Canada for oh. a VHS that had better sound? That he was looking for a Canadian copy of Die Hard because it had better sound. I don't think so. I feel I like remember. I remember that. Maybe. Maybe they could have. But there's like little things like that about our characters that have been ongoing that it fits with them as they go, even with the boils. Mm -hmm. But then there's other things that are just like written within the episode that just work so well in the way they circle around it. And we got another Terry. Little Terry. Little Terry. Little Terry <laughs> likes this. They referred to Terry <laughs> yeah. as Terry. Like you figure at that point he would just be Terry. But he considers himself Little Terry. <laughs> I guess it's true. He said Little Terry, didn't he? Yeah. Well, his brother probably still called him Little Terry. <laughs> his brother was still probably bigger. I think it's his, that's his brother-in-law. Brother -in -law. Brother -in -law. Right. Oh, never mind yeah. then. Tiny yeah. Terry likes pickles. <laughs> like, right, right, Alan? <laughs> yeah, I am. Terry loves his pickles. Dude, I love also the boils aren't swimmers. We're burrowers. <laughs> it's like, burrowers? Like hobbits. What do you mean? 
What do they burrow into? They're like ostriches. Like whenever whenever there's danger, they. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Is it weird that the boils seem to like, like, like our boil, Charles has, like taste for food and sure. exquisite yeah he's a food this and that and all that very and all the other boils taste. and it's all like eggs yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very food. plain well, it's, it's like Holt's diet yeah I guess kind right of. like it's like a piece of toast with nothing nutrition you know like yeah. it, it, it just felt a little weird because I guess that's that's Charles quirk maybe is like that's like different. his base but he is branched out he doesn't live in Iowa anymore you know he he's a cop he's actually a pretty effective cop yeah, yeah sure we've seen in the, in the past he's gotten shot yeah. In the butt? In the are butt. You, you're from Iowa, right? No. no. Where are you from? Wyoming. Wyoming. I always confuse those two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're semi-close together. No, you're thinking of Idaho. Dude. No, Idaho, Iowa has potatoes. Yeah, but Iowa is like... Iowa's the chef's hat. Just next to Illinois. While Wyoming is like way over here it's next to Idaho. Way. You're just like past Indiana, you're like, it's all the same. <laughs> 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 Those are the ones like when I was doing like geography like back in the day, and it's being like it's one of these. Isn't Iowa the chef's hat? I believe so. Is yeah, it? or is that oh. isn't that the face? Or is the chef's face? I think it's Missouri, the face. Iowa, and there's something else on top. Yeah, Iowa's the face. Iowa's the face. And there's a hat on it, and then down below, and it goes to Tennessee, which is the frying pan, down to Louisiana. If you didn't go to American schools, look at a United States map. And try to find the chef. Find the chef that has a skillet and fried chicken in it. Yep. The, the, that's Kentucky, yeah. right? It's yeah. chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. I guess. It's not, it doesn't really look like chicken, but it does no. kind of look like he's like... When you color it and you look at it, you're like, I can see it. <laughs> well, if you color it to look like a chicken... <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's just brown. <laughs> fried chicken. I like the... Uh, no, I like a lot of it. This episode was actually really good. I was glad to see Kevin again, because like... It's been a while. I don't think we've seen him since the whole parish trip thing. Yeah. And then he went into undercover stuff, and they didn't really talk about it, and I just kind of assumed he was still in Paris, I guess. Now well, the night they, shift. Now yeah. it's the night shift. They just have to see the schedules. Each other. Yeah. And they just needed to bone. They did. Did you solve the math problem? Nope. Did you? Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Bone, the, the bone gag in this one is one of, I think, most people's one of the favorite whole things. But I always find that it's funny the first time you see it. But the more you see it, the funnier it gets. Really? Because you really paint. You're not. It's not surprising that he's saying bone. But once you know he's going to, the way he says it is even funnier to me. So I just wanted to do a rewatch of it at this point to see how the you guys feel. The way spell. he says it. Okay. In a park. You two just need a bone. Just <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer. I just, I just didn't understand. I know. I'm still so confused <laughs> as to what the rest of his sentences were. Sure, right? Like, why is he? What's he yelling? And yeah. Say afterwards. I don't understand. And like, I like how he's like standing, gripped on the edge, like, Dah! like. <laughs> It's funny. No, I like that. There's all the other officers that, like, I feel like come out of nowhere and just stand around and watch the whole time. There was a episode, I think, back in season one where they sneak in to Holt's bedroom, and they're seeing his, like, TiVo. His TiVo. Yeah. And there's a episode Bones. that's Bones. Yeah. And one of you guys like, I wonder who's who did that, Kevin or Holt? Uh, Holt. And I was like, could be Holt. He likes Bones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, obviously wouldn't have gotten it at that point, but. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, Caribbean or Iowa? What do you pick? I feel like there'd be less people in Iowa. Yeah. I, that is statistically true. Not a, not a people person. Uh, I don't know. How many people are in? Iowa's big. Caribbean's small. Yeah. Right? Well, sure. Or, but Aruba. I do like potatoes. Let's look. What are you looking at? Uh, you look population of Iowa. Damn it, you would give me Iowa. I'll do it. You're not even from there, Eric. <laughs> But uh, you, you should know it's your home state. Well, it's not so much the Aruban population; it's like the tourist yeah. industry of Aruba that concerns me. No, I get you. So the population is one hundred and six thousand people in Aruba. Ideally, I'm going to be inside playing board games. Sure. So it doesn't really not matter. Not enjoying the sun. All right. So what was the population? One hundred and six thousand. One hundred six. Oh, I mean, the whole population of Iowa says three point one million. But it's so much bigger. 
Yes. July. But I'm like, what, what was the place they were? It was like Butt Hurt. What was it? Oh, uh, <laughs> Boo Her or something. It was like French. <laughs> it so was there's a Butt Thumb. There's 106,000 people in Aruba that live there. This says, in 2020, the number of U.S. Americans on Aruba, uh, that went to Aruba, went down by nearly 65% to only 295,000 people. <laughs> yeah. So it went down 65% to double their population. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Minnesota up there is the hat. Minnesota. Missouri yeah. is the body. Minnesota. Right. Yeah. That's, Minneapolis, was, Minnesota, Mighty like, Ducks. It's not Missouri. It starts with an M. But I'm like, Missouri's here next to Illinois. Right. But what one's this one? How close I can't is what it was. Uh, Iowa to, to Wyoming? Wyoming. I mean, it's a Nebraska away. A Nebraska, a Nebraska and a Dakota. Yeah. Or two I mean, Dakotas if you want to count gotcha. both. Like if you were Do you in know how far Idaho Colorado. to Wyoming are? <laughs> I don't know. They touch. <laughs> 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 no, because Iowa's there. Gotcha. And then Idaho's over here. And Wyoming's yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, they're both that way. Damn it. Do a thing. I never said it, Idaho, did I? No, you I said no. Tatum, Iowa. I Iowa. You yeah. compared Iowa to Wyoming. I know where Idaho is. And they're so far away. <laughs> I was Whenever like, you get into the states that are just boxes, I'm like, I don't know which one's which. I wanted to see what the... <laughs> What was the city Fucking called? Fucking Michigan is just like two that don't touch. It's crazy. It is I guess very like weird. I don't think it's a real town. I think they made up a town. Rhode Island's weird. Yeah. York has islands too. Yeah. At least this listing does not but list But New it. Jersey like owns the river. That's a really weird situation. I don't know how to West Virginia owns the Ohio River. That's yeah, true. They do. The more you know. Yeah, I, I love the uh, the Patrick. The full bullpen as well. The full bullpen! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was wondering how the Parlov, like, author thing was going to kind of play oh, out. Because, yeah. like, when we were going through it, I'm like, oh, wow, that turned out really well for Terry there when they're reciting things and stuff. And yeah. he seems like a cool guy and whatnot. But then they get later on, and he's like, I didn't write this. Yeah. And I was like, well. He pulls. That makes more sense. Because when they first said I'm like, oh, man, he didn't write it, I bet. And then he claimed he did, kind of. And I was like, okay, well, then I'm wrong there, I guess. Yeah. But he just lied, which I guess is nice, right? Yeah, like if you... lying is probably the nicer thing in that situation. Sure, it's kind yeah. of a white lie in that point. Yeah. yeah, like it still helped him. Yeah, right. And it was still your books and stuff. It's just like your assistant. I mean, how I mean, much? He didn't have to say like I can't write to every fat little boy. He didn't well, say that. yeah, that part was a little rough. Yeah. later on. So, and it seemed like, well, of course I did. Of course I said that. You're working my case. I want to know who's gonna kill me. I want to piss you off. I'm like, oh, all right, makes sense too. I guess. Yeah, but. I mean, I've read a fair share of fantasy books, and I feel like the more modern they are, the more you get some more female characters in there. I mean, I love Lord of the Rings, but it's not like there's much for Arwen to do. But, I mean, he also wrote one of the the greatest moments that has ever been written for a woman, in my opinion, which is Eowyn, killing sure. the Witch King of Agmar. Yeah. That's a cool moment for for women, yeah. where it's like, no man, I'm I lo- man. I love yeah, watching great. reactions to that moment, especially of women. Uh I haven't read much Red Sonja. But, I mean, look at the... Uh... But even the movie of that has, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, he's 80% of the poster, yeah. and Red Sonja's, like, this much, and he's barely in the movie. That's crazy. But he's also Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, That's just true to life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, like, yeah, look at, like, the fellowship and how many women were in the fellowship, oh, yeah. you know? Look how many like you people have... of color are in Lord of the Rings. Sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could say, yeah. like, well, I mean, in terms of, like, the landscape and what it's supposed to be and what it's going to be, you have, like, the Easterlings. Uh, sure. That you see later, but... I mean, I guess it's weird when thinking into fantasy and stuff, too, because, like, well, yes, but when you look at, like, races and stuff, you have dwarf, elf, human, yes. hobbits, and that kind of stuff. It's just, like, all those races were just white. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like elves and other versions and stuff sometimes you get like different colors like in World of Warcraft like you'll yeah. have like white elves and blue elves and green elves like they kind of have a Drow. fluctuation of different colors and stuff yeah, yeah. Lord, uh, but you have to D&D also... has the same idea I mean, but... not, you know just because we have a lot of recorded history from that area then yeah you have a lot of ancient characters that are primarily white but now that we have the global community you need to be able to represent a global sure. face and that was written too also right for like a British Fairy tale thing, is mythology. that right? It mythology. Was supposed to, yeah. I mean, so I imagine Britain mm-hmm. is more predominantly white kind yeah. of thing too. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's yeah. probably why it also went that mm-hmm. way. But but you would figure you'd have at least like a woman on the fellowship, you know? I mean, like a woman Hobbit or something like that. But it was just all men. 
judge the guy that that, that did sign the petition to make Quandor a female? I feel like you were judging him. To sign to make it at male? first, I thought it was Hopper. Yeah, <laughs> I know. For a second, he looked like that, and like no, and then I'm and like, then wait. Aaron, at first, were you thinking the author was totally from the West Wing? I did for a second. Yeah, for a second, you go, like it. wait, and I'm like, he thinks it's Toby. <laughs> he did look like it. The first two times you saw him, yep. and it was just like side yep. profile things, and it was real quick. I'm like, that kind of looks like, is it? Yep. Is it? Is what? And then I think that you thought that the guy that actually did it was the comic book guy from the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, as I said, is that the comic book owner from Big Bang Theory? But then I never saw his face, so I have no idea who he looked like. But from the back, it didn't look yeah. like him. I just feel like I've been around you so much. Well, I, I, I said the last like one. Aaron's not good at recognizing faces, <laughs> but am I good at figuring out who he thinks they I, are. I, I can't give you the last one because I said that out loud in the thing. Oh, did you? But you did. the Toby one I did not. Um, and then the Hopper one I did not either. Gotcha. But but yeah, in that one I was like, wait, is that the guy from Big Bang that has a comic yeah. shop? Because I, I used to see this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it kind of looks don't, like him. And you don't ever see and the you rest never of see his face. I also love his move too where he like <laughs> yeah. apparently opens the window or he, whatever. He clatters he, that, right? Yeah. Like if Jake had jumped out, he could have just left. Yeah, and the bubble comes in, and then he Terry, sneaks out. Terry was still there, but he didn't know that. It was, great. it was a great move. It was hilarious. It was clever, right? Yeah. I guess yeah, I should have done, like, whenever, like, Brick was trying to find me for hide and seek, I should have, like, done a thing. <laughs> Obviously, it's over there, and then you just see me, like, take off, like, in the way he went, where he looked already. You yeah. really should have opened the window and had a rope. <laughs> a sheet. <laughs> like I escaped? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wait well, God time. damn it! Oh man! Fuck! And I'm just waiting where you started. <laughs> just sitting there, like. Uh, do you guys have a hero that you wouldn't want to meet? It's like I can't let this person in my life ever be. They have to remain at that status. Neil Breen, Tommy Wiseau. No heroes, Drake. Bob Dylan. Getting closer. <laughs> at least Dylan. I feel like that one can have respect. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what would devastate you to learn, like, that person isn't who I thought they were? I think it would be Mark Mark Hamill. Hamill. Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill seems like, like, tweets he does and things I see with, like, interviews and everything. I feel like he seems genuine, nice, pretty cool, smart. Like, I'm like, I I feel like I like this guy. If I met him and he's just like, fuck you, fucking, (laughs) what are you, you like Star Wars? Why? You know, or something like that. Or I don't know. I don't know what he would do. But he seems, anything I see him in, tweets I see him do, like, he seems like a good guy. Like, I'm trying to think of who else I have in my head where I'm like, if they were just a jerk, I'd be like, what the... It would surprise me. Like, I don't even know if I'd be, like, broken hard. I'm like, well, fuck, I still like Star Wars. Fuck. Yeah. You know, but I feel like that would just shock me because he seems genuine in the way he is. I don't know. Like, I've heard so many backstage stories. I assume all wrestlers are assholes or have been assholes sure. at some point in their life. Yeah. So I mean, everybody has bad days. But, like, is there, like, a person that gets it's at that status where it's, like, I can't see them as a real person? Sure. <laughs> and, know? like, with the wrestlers and stuff, like, I don't know the backstories of stuff, but a lot of that stuff is also there in their characters yeah. and stuff. So maybe there's an well, element of that. But when you're not in a wrestling thing, yeah. what happens then? But, like, in some of those things, like, I don't know about The Rock before, but he seems very nice now. Yeah. But he might have been, when he was younger, attitude, <clears throat> you know, might have been there. John Cena, like, I hear tons of stories that that, that guy makes make-a-wish things all the time mm-hmm. and I'm like that's awesome you know like that sounds like someone who like he can't be that big of a jerk if you're willing to make sure to spend your time to make all these make-a-wish like appearances and stuff too for these kids that are you saw know? a video of the Rockies driving in Hollywood yeah I and seen it. The, he goes up to a tour bus celebrity tour bus it tours his neighborhood he said all the time <laughs> he did, yeah and he just fucking he turns it down he's like hello how are you guys doing they all fucking freak out <laughs> when he pulls up he pulls up and goes do you guys know where the Rock lives yeah, and they're like ah and they're all filming and shit. They're like, how you guys doing? They're like, no, go ahead. Take a picture. It's fine. No, yeah. I'm not, I won't leave right away. It's all the right. The guy giving the tour is like, thank you so much. You guys having a good day? <laughs> like, it's really, really funny. Good. I'll tell you who seems real nice that I'd be bummed to find out wasn't uh, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk seems he's a pretty good He guy. seems like yeah. a really just nice guy, yeah. a good dad. He was on The Masked Singer. Was he? Yeah. Hmm. And he seemed like just like, yeah, I did this for my kids kind of thing, you know? Like, we used to watch this all the time together. And yeah. I said, I, was, I, I got a call and I said, yeah, I'll do it. So I'm like, huh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, nice. I did not expect it to be him. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, did he do a kick, kick flip? He, didn't, he did not. So we turn the question to you, the viewer. Do you guys have a person that has reached legendary hero status that if you were to learn something that uh, makes them not uh, so great, would you would your life change or would it affect you that much? As it, it did Terry. Little Terry. Poor little fat Terry. Anyway. Poor little and big Jack Terry. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. While the series may have ended in, in the present, our future has more. So we're watching, well, the Patreon has four more. We're watching more. Just go there and you can see it. Or subscribe so you don't miss out on the new one or the old ones. Both. Bone!